Hey guys, it's been a while since we posted a video. Sorry about that, been super busy. But we got these two skid steers that we're gonna compare here. The Case TV 450 and the Case TV 450B. Show you the differences between the two. So we'll be showing you those. We'll get right on into it. The hydraulics are still exactly the same as they are on the old one. Nothing has changed there. Here's the older one. Pretty much the exact same thing. Same pins, everything. The cutting edge has lasted really well. Just slightly rounded on the edges, but other than that, it's held up real good. You can see where the tracks have rubbed right there several times and kind of wore, a, wore it down there. Guess we'll see how well the new one does. Because it doesn't look like there's much clearance difference. About the same. So it'll probably do the same thing, but it's not like it's a ruin on it. It just wears on it a little. Scratches all the paint off of it. The door handle and the window wiper are exactly the same on the old one and the new one. The door handle is the same size. Everything is exactly the same as far as that goes. So we'll open up these doors. Okay, so we feel like we've taken pretty good care of the interior of this one. It still smells almost new. It's it's not just you can kind of has a little bit of a dark smell to it, but it, when it gets warmed up in there, then it smells new inside still. So there's this knob right here on this skid steer, and they have illuminated that knob. This one doesn't have one. And that's basically the throttle. They made it, they turned it into a twist throttle. So I'll probably just get inside and show the old one and then shift to the new one so you can kind of see the differences. The way you start the older one is you have to push this button in and then you have to hold down start. Starts up, kicks on the park brake. We have our uh, aftermarket backup camera installed so that's how big it is still it has this stereo system I think for your headphones but on the back the person that was tenting I couldn't get that radius to to fit right so they just left that out so on the new one they was able to heat it up and get it to stretch and work it kind of work so here's that throttle and then we got the the light switch down there we added the light bar switch right there it's got the uh, old H controls and then the ISO controls and then it's got the, the system basically you have to punch all these buttons and then here's your screen that tells you what's going on right here it's really confusing you have to you have to twink with it for quite a long time to get to get it adjusted how you want it. There's the, all the instruments that tell you when something's wrong. And then the same door system I think on this one is in, on the old one. Basically you gotta pull that pin and then you can plug this back into here and take the door completely off if you want. And this just overrides the, the door so you can plug that in there and then the door can be off and it can still operate. And then over here you got the, another light bar right there. You got your wiper blades, we added that and another light switch there. And then you just got your hydraulic controls there. And then you got the high flow and the standard. Enhanced high flow and then the standard. You can see those very well with the light shining back in. And then you got the beacon light if you want to add one. We didn't add that one. You got the, that 
tells you when it's in two speed. And your park brake and your controls for your heater and air conditioning. And down here is all your controls on your on your knob. You got your horn. And then on the bottom side back here, back on the bottom of the trigger right here, on the bottom of the handle right here, then you got the two speed on the left side. And then over here there's the flow button and then you got the other hydraulics there for running a snowblower and whatever controllers you got. There's AC vents, two of them right there. And there's one ditch down here. Right here, two there. And then same on this side, so there's that one and those two. So just, you can twist them completely around so you can aim it whatever way you want. If the windows are fogging up or whatever, you can twist them around. And you got your boom lock right there. So that's how, that is how the old one is positioned. Now we'll go to the new one and show you the differences. We got the same quantity of vents. Got two there, one down there, so that's the same. And then you got the same over here, you got the three vents. So it has the storage compartment for your oil drain, so that hangs on there. And that's how the old one is too. You just screw that on the bottom, it makes so you can kick your oil out where you want it to be. Here's the lights. This is for all the lights that are stock with the machine. So you can switch that around. And then here's your throttle. And here is your, you push to operate it, that unlocks the parking brake. And then this is your start button. You don't you don't uh, push the button to start it. This is, you, have, you just turn this now on the newer ones. So that's how that starts. There's your different control switch for your H and your ISO. And then you got it shows you your RPMs. It has way more details here. It's got a backup camera with the lines on it. This screen is a lot smaller than the aftermarket one that we put in there. But it's still okay. And then uh, on the controls on this side, you got your heat and AC, fan speed, try to get the light situated. And then you got your, uh, there's your AC switch, so you can just have air without AC. You got your window wipers, you got your, your self leveling bucket there. This does the automatic uh, self or uh, automatic ride control so if you push that in on the screen you'll see how it says automatic when you switch it in and out of two speed it is still self level and then you got the high performance and high flow so whatever it is you're after if you want high flow for like a mulch head it has the enhanced high flow so it'll and so does the old one but it just doesn't have this you have to switch it a little different way but and then it's got this creep button. You push the you push the snail button, and then down here on your controls, you can push this turtle, and it adjusts the speed of which in which that it crawls. So when you push that button, it, it, it can change the speed that it moves. So once you shift it into creep creep mode, like when you're pushing, say you're using a snowblower or you're using a plow, you can adjust the speed on the machine. So on the screen, this is like your home screen, and then you can push this button and it pulls up a menu. Sometimes it's a little bit slow, but it pulls up a menu and tells you your engine speed, your fuel level, your engine hours, your battery voltage, gives you your man manifold in temperatures and your boost pressure everything it gives you all that information which is pretty handy as your death temperature and all that stuff it also has your creep speed right there to adjust the creep speed you push this turtle button it lights up green come down and you push either the, the turtle or the rabbit and that adjusts the speed that you want so I'm gonna push the I'm gonna push the turtle button right here and it adjusts the speed up here so I'm pushing the turtle button right now it's a lower creep speed so 
I'm going to push the rabbit button now. It's going to raise the creep speed so you can adjust it to whatever speed you want to do when you're pushing the snow or you're pushing dirt with a plow or a blade or something. So that's pretty handy to have that there. And when you pull up the menu, all your other stuff still shows up. It shows your fuel, it shows your uh, death fluid and your RPMs. So it overrides kicks it up to the top of there and has it on all the time, even though you're going through your settings. We added these buttons here for the for the rigid lights, so that, that's way more convenient having them up high like that, because when we had them on the other skid steer, we had them down here. Whenever we turned the window wiper on, you kept bumping the light on and off, which is kind of obnoxious, but this is just a lot nicer having it up there. It's pretty much the same door light system and everything. Same kind of a thing. You unplug this and plug that other dummy one into it so that it, you can pull the door completely off. Just one question I thought people might wonder about is on my last, uh, I think it was the 700 hour review that I did on this machine was it had a, it did have a crankshaft code that it threw. And it it was just simply a relay. It, it didn't have anything to do with the crankshaft itself. The relay itself went bad. And so it wasn't 
it didn't do any damage to the machine so the the crankshaft itself didn't have an actual problem it was just the relay so i fixed that didn't hasn't had a problem with that since but it did throw another code and uh, we thought it was it was kind of giving us mixed codes and so we took it in and they replaced the wiring harness and that solved all of its problems it had a the wiring harness was so tight together that the wires were just kind of they rubbed on each other until it wore holes in them and so i think that they they upgraded that problem even with the replacement wiring harness on these i wouldn't be surprised if they recalled it and fix everybody's machines on but anyway so it's that's nice to have that out of the way so that's kind of the the majors of this one its alternator did go out at about 150 hours but they covered it on warranty it was just inconvenient that never they never die where you want them to this is the tv 450 and we took the plates off the ram protectors because the boom just had to be all the way down in order to get the door open we took those off just to make it so the boom could be up just a little bit and the door could still open because a lot of times we end up adjusting our forks so we just took them off but with this one they can stay on and the boom can be up a little bit and you can still open the door so they adjusted that a little little bit so that it so you can get in and out easier with it boom up barely it's just impossible to adjust your forks when they're sitting on the dirt so that's why we took them off we did add rigid lights to this one so we got there's not enough room right here to put a rigid light on there because they're bigger than these this other style so on this the older skitter we put a light there and another one there but the rigid wouldn't fit on the front This thing has around 820 hours. The tracks are still, they're probably about three quarters of an inch from the from inside here to the top. We did stud these tracks so you can see a little wear on them because of that. But these ones are brand new, has hardly any hours on it. And it's about probably an inch and a quarter so in 800 hours, I feel like that's some pretty good life out of the track. You can see the little bit of wear that's right here. You can see all the scratches and stuff. There's no dings in it. There's lots of scratches. There's the new one. There's the same number of wheels. They didn't change anything with that. One thing that we did do different with the older one, it's the, this isn't the, the uh, demo glass is what they call it. You don't see the bolts in the, there's no bolts on that thing right there on the edge of the window. Whereas on this one, there's bolts in it right here that hold the glass piece in there. And this this glass is supposed to be a, a lot stronger glass we added the rigid light bar to this one that one has just a offbeat offbeat Chinese brand when we pulled the, the pulled it apart to wire up these lights then the wiring harness on this newer machine was it looked a lot nicer a lot tighter woven together I mean not tighter particularly more more like sealed it looked a lot better sealed so dirt and crap wouldn't get inside of it as easy so we're gonna shine it across the hill there and see the difference you gonna move it back because that was a little bit further forward so we're gonna scoot them back to the same exact position Okay, this is the on with on the Chinese version. 
that's how much it lights up down in there. Now this is the on the ridge. So it just shines out a lot further. It's quite a lot brighter. It has a little bit more of a spot, but it's a huge area that it's shining on down there. So anyway, I just want to show the difference between the two. They both say so many thousand lumens and uh, the one says it has just as many lumens as the rigid but it ain't even close. You can hear them both knocking that after you turn them off they have this weird knocking noise. It's probably just hydraulic fluid going back to the other side. Some barely louder. I think that pretty well covers everything on on the machine. Don't know if I missed anything. I didn't get a whole lot of response on the what people wanted to know about them. So if you have any more questions, you can ask them in the comments, and I'll try to get to them. So I don't think those little quest those little uh things that I send out sometimes I don't think they reach everybody so it must have must have didn't show up in your suggested suggested uh, content or something